lot of people might know Manchester United for their recent struggles. But before their struggles, they were one of the most greatest teams in world football. The 08 Manchester United team dominated the Champions League with some absolute superstars. So today, we are going to take those superstars, build that exact team that won the 08 Champions League, and play some games in FT FC 24 to see how many games we can win with the 08 Manchester United Champions League winning beast. Now, I remember watching this team play, and they were amazing. And I know you're probably saying, uh-oh, skills are old head. Listen, I was a teenager. Relax. All right, calm. I'm old, but I'm not that old, man. Relax. I got like one white hair. Y'all see it. Hey, listen, man. With that being said, I got to see this team, and this team was one of the remo most remarkable teams I've ever seen play, coached by one of the greatest coaches of all time. Okay, I, it's not Arteta, okay? It's actually Alex Ferguson, who's not in the game, so we can't use him. But he was amazing manager that made players that were some some players that were average above average amazing players you know what i'm saying that guy could turn anyone into a great player now with that being said bruno holan and harry Maguire on the bench because i don't know why not they from nowadays now let's build the 08 where we start in goal with one of the greatest goalkeepers to ever play our beautiful game goes by the name of Van der Star, the Netherlands beast, the monster, the machine. Let's get it out the way. Yes, there's gonna be loans in this team, but there ain't nothing wrong with using loans. If I got it, why would I pay for it? That's craziness. Big Van der Star into the team. Absolute stud, amazing goalkeeper. Now, one thing that's kind of upsetting about this team is the left back and the right back we cannot use from the 08 team because the left back in 08, I believe, listen, I might get this wrong, and if I do, then y'all can check my ball knowledge and, and, and check me in the comments down below. The left back was actually Evra, okay? Unfortunately, Evra's not in the game, so we got to use Luke Saul. Let me try to compare them. Okay, I can't. Listen, I can't, there's not, look, Ever was that guy, man. Ever was just a, an amazing, an amazing, an amazing, amazing, amazing player. Um, and I can't really say it. He was the left back. And the right back, I believe, was Neville, right? And unfortunately, um, it's crazy when you go from Ever and Neville to the law to Wambi Saka and Luke Shaw. Listen, no disrespect in any way, shape, or form. No disrespect to any. I love the law. That's my Portuguese goat. Look, I, nothing. I'm just saying, like, the level that Manchester United had back in the day was just crazy for any team. Um, but with that being said, lads, we got to put them in the 08 team because, unfortunately, there's no one else. All right? It's just the way it goes. Now, let's move to the center back duo that was one of the greatest center back duos in the world and in world football. Now, one thing I have to tell you that a lot of you won't believe when I say this, but it's actually true, I think. And again, if I'm wrong, you can check me. Rio is the first center back that's in this team, okay? Rio played 455 games for Manchester United, one of the most loyal United players, eight goals for him, and just an absolute beast hardcore united fan just an actual monster in the back that gave everything like this guy gave everything every game this guy would eat the grass bro to win a game he was an absolute beast and his partner beside him is just like him an absolute amazing monster one of the greatest center backs in our game hands down nobody will argue it big vintage first of all look at that Van der Sar, Vidic, and Rio. Like, what? That is actually wild. Now, what I was going to say that I was going to say that some of y'all won't believe me, then you can go check this. So in case I'm wrong, I apologize. But PK, that's right, PK, the Barcelona star, was part of this 08 Manchester United team. I'm pretty sure if you go find the picture of them winning the Champions League, PK is somewhere in that picture. I'm pretty sure of it. Again, if I'm wrong, I apologize. For people that don't know, PK, I believe at one point was at Manchester United, all that stuff. But yes, lads, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure PK was part of this team. Again, if I'm wrong, you can check me and then I look dumb, but I'm pretty sure I got it right, man. We're gonna move on to the center mid position where we are gonna fall in, 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 into the beautiful vision of one of the greatest midfielders in football. I know we just saw Chavi there, and Chavi obviously is one of them as well. But it's going to be the one and only. Maybe I should just type the name in. Big Skulls, man. What a player he was, lads. This guy was Paul Skulls, man. This guy was Himothy, bro. You know what's crazy? When you speak about loyalty, look at that, bro. Spent 20 years at Manchester United. Played 718 games 
scoring 155 goals. Played for England seven years, 66 games. Lads, Paul Scholes literally, literally, literally played his entire career for one team. Like, let that sit in, yo. Scholes was that guy, man. Like, when you talk about loyalty, bro, like, that is... That is just unreal, man. Yo, what an absolute legend. What a beast. What a monster, yo. That, that is just, that's an accomplishment, man. One team your whole career, that is just crazy, man. With that being said, lads, that is the midfield. That is the back line. And then it starts to get a little bit juicy for the lads, all right? We are going to start to throw in some absolute studs. The left mid position is the guy that many said was going to be the next Ronaldo at United. Obviously, he didn't live up to that. But it was Nani, and this Portuguese man won a lot, bro. He won the Euro, he won the Champions League. Like, when you really sit down and look at Nani's career, maybe he didn't live up to as good as Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously, but he won a lot throughout his career. And he was a successful, successful player at most teams he played for. Nani had a fantastic career from England, played in Portugal, played in Italy, I believe, played in a lot of different countries. I think he played in Italy. Um, but Nani had a successful career, man, 100%. And big ups to him, man, won a lot of things, helped Portugal win the year. I'll always be grateful for that. But an absolute beast, an absolute stud, an absolute monster part of this team. And then we move on to an absolute beast at the right mid position. This guy did it all, man. And, and that's what I'm saying about Alex Ferguson. The way this guy picked up players. Park was a player that at the time I remember being a teenager and I couldn't see it. And I was like, why is he part of this team? Why? And now when I look back, I just think to myself, Park did everything. The guy was an absolute legend for this team. He was a work, work machine, constantly up and down the field, doing everything, filling different positions. This guy was a stud for Manchester United. And back when I was younger, I couldn't see it. But like I said, now that I'm older, I understand how valuable players like this are. Players that can play multiple positions, players that can work and, and continue to work for a full 90 minutes without giving up, giving everything on the field. You don't understand when you're younger what that means and what that's like. And then you grow up and you understand finding players like this is difficult, lads. Difficult, difficult. Speaking about another player that never gave up and was loyal and constantly kept working for Manchester United, it's got to be the one and only Big Wayne Rooney, bro. He's got to be part of this team, man. Big Wayne Rooney, four-star, four-star, crazy finisher, crazy player, played 559 games for Manchester United, left Everton to go to them, which is a kind of, yeah, whole conversation going on there. Played for DC United, you know what I'm saying? My squad in the US, what's up, lads? DC United, what's up, lads? Um, played for DC United, um, and yeah, man, it kind of cooked. Obviously played 77 games for Everton, was there for two years, 40 games, we went there for one year. Uh, so all together played over 100 games for Everton, but capped most of his games for Manchester United and played 120 games for England. Wayne Rooney, I don't think he really needs an introduction. You guys know all about him. Um, uh, he's an absolute, absolute beast. Up top, the one and only. You already know. The big number seven. The beast. The Portuguese machine. Cristiano Ronaldo. He is part of the OA Manchester United Champions League winning team. What a stud. What a beast. What a monster. Achieved everything you can achieve in football. Won every trophy you can win in football except for the World Cup. Unbelievable player. Unbelievable monster. Ain't got to say nothing else about him. It's big Cristiano Ronaldo. And the last person into this team is one of the forwards that works the hard. I used to call him a pit bull, man, because he would never give up. This guy would never give up. This guy would keep running and running and running and running and running and trying to win the ball back and trying to get the ball back and doing everything to get the ball back. This guy ran, 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 gave everything he could possibly give throughout 90 minutes. Big Tevez was part of the 2008 Champions League winning Manchester United team. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no Evra, there's no Neville, unfortunately, but there's everybody else. This team was remarkable. And on paper, you might look at it and say, it's not that great of a team. You had to be there to understand it. Every single player you're looking at on this field was workaholics. Tevez worked so hard to get the ball back. Skulls did everything to try to control a midfield. Park would play any position Alex Ferguson would put him. These two center backs would give everything throughout 90 minutes. This is the definition of a team that worked hard, played hard, unbelievable squad. I am going to try to win games 
with this team in FC24. I'm just going to run a 4-4-2 formation that way park and skulls are my midfield nani and cristiano ronaldo used to be a winger by the way so ronaldo was out on the wing with tevez and wayne rooney up top and that's the way i'm going to keep it for this cristiano ronaldo and nani on the wings tevez and wayne rooney at the striker position we are going to run it exactly like this in the 442 lads and we are going to see how many games we could pick up or maybe we just absolutely destroy our first game and we ain't got to see no more i don't know but we are going to jump into it and see what's popping we only got two games with vendasar so let's make sure we we, we make it worth it what is the 08 Manchester United going up against? They are going up against Ruben Diaz, Enzo, Mo Salah, and Neto in their first game. This should be a fun one. Big Mo Salah in there. I forgot Mo Salah got a winter wild card. I didn't even realize he had one of those. Man, the nostalgic feeling I'm getting from playing with this team right now is actually what Yo, you, I can't even explain it to y'all. This is actually wild to see these players all together. Yo, what a feeling I'm getting, lads. What am I seeing? Tevez, the workhorse is already on. He goes to Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. It's funny because I believe Wayne Rooney was number 10 and he's wearing 9. And Christian Ronaldo 7 and he's wearing 10. I probably should have fixed their numbers because it does look a little bit weird. But it's all right, lads. EA be giving random numbers. These are the numbers they came up with. It would be cool if they actually gave the players the numbers they wore in real life. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. What a find. Wayne Rooney chilling with it to Tevez. Tevez shoots it already, lads. We're up 2-0. It's only five minutes in. My boy Tevez knocking it out of the park, man. What a swing he has there. Cristiano Ronaldo hugging it up with Wayne Rooney and Tevez, bro. The boys are going crazy. And I guess that's why they won the 08 Champions League, huh? What a team. Up 2-0 massively early in this game. This is easy peasy at the moment. Here's Wayne Rooney. I'm going to swing this one to Cristiano Ronaldo. Here comes Ronaldo, 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 Ronaldo. Ronaldo skill move inside. Ronaldo to Nani. I think it's offside. I think it's offside. He might back out, but lads, I think it's offside. And by the way, that looked like a Cristiano Ronaldo Nani type goal, didn't it? It did. The skill move inside, the pass down bottom, the shot, the goal, but offside, unfortunately. Wayne Rooney, I go straight to Nani. I do want to hit Ronaldo back post. I'm going for it. Ronaldo shoots. He missed. Ronaldo shoots. Pen. Ref pen. Wayne Rooney can't even believe it. You see Wayne Rooney's reaction. He can't even believe it. You saw his reaction. He couldn't believe it. It's got to be a pen, lads. Nah, we're getting robbed. Park wins it back. Let's go. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ben, let's go, Ronaldo. A lot of power on that from Tevez. Here comes Ronaldo, though. Ronaldo. Wow. Ruben Diaz not scared to slide. That boy slid in. I go back to Luke Shaw. We go back to Tevez. I think I got vintage back post. It goes to Wayne Rooney. Instead, we shoot. Que golazo, papa. Que golazo, papa. Nah, there it is, boys. War a hit. Look at the boys going crazy. I think that was an outstanding. It is Tevez. What a ball from Tevez, dude. And then Wayne Rooney, the control with his chest to tap into the back of the net. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what's beautiful about this team? You guys are going to laugh at me when I say this. But we didn't make this about Cristiano Ronaldo. So much of when Ronaldo's on a team, we make it about Cristiano Ronaldo. We talk about Cristiano, 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 Cristiano. No, 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 no. This time it was about Wayne Rooney. This time it was about Tevez. This time it was about Park winning the ball back in the middle of the park. Ronaldo was involved. Nani was involved. But it was about other players. And that's what this team was about. Even though they had a superstar like Cristiano Ronaldo, it wasn't about Cristiano Ronaldo. It was about Wayne Rooney and Rio and Vidic. It was about what Nani could contribute. It was about what the team did together. And this game right here showcased the team together. Ronaldo involved in the passing moves and the skill moves and that's what he did back then that's the type of player he was and then Wayne Rooney and Tevet just everybody was a big piece of the puzzle and we just dominated the game with this team like that's what they used to do back then next game oh never judge a book by its cover but that looks like a winnable team lads that looks like a team that we should win for sure nice pass Look at Ronaldo and Tevez linking up nicely. Here is Ronaldo. Can't get through, though. Cristiano. Nice find. Park to Wayne Rooney. He missed. Wayne don't miss from there. Cristiano, Cristiano. Cristiano, Cristiano. Here he comes. Dropped off to my boy Park. What a play from Nani and Ronaldo. Shoots. Out for a corner. Let's go, Nani. Nani, Nani, Nani. Nani still with it. Look at my boy Nani. Cristiano Ronaldo! Cristiano! 
Cristiano Ronaldo. We can't do the suey. In 08, Ronaldo was not doing the suey, by the way. Ronaldo was not doing the suey. He, he, he started that in a friendly against Chelsea when he played for Real Madrid, I believe. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. And look, I agree. I agree. The team's over, overpowered, boys. The team's overpowered. It took us two games to realize Cristiano Ronaldo, Tevez, Wayne Rooney. It's too much, bro. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much for people to deal with. Manchester United 08 team was amazing. Now, guys, unfortunately, my Van der Sar contract is up. Um, and obviously, if I'm Manchester United, we're renewing. Uh, what a team, dude. What a team. Outside of Luke Shaw and, and DeLaw, this is just magic, 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 magic. Alex Alex Ferguson built an absolute wonderful, amazing team. Um, just superstars. And I don't know, lads. I look back at teams like this, and I look back at the Chelsea with Lampard and all them boys, and the Liverpool with Gerrard, and I just think to myself, maybe it's a nostalgic merchant because I was younger and I always think to those teams, but there was something special about those teams. There really was. There was something amazing about it, and football had some absolute amazing teams back in the day, and sometimes I think to myself, take me back to those days, lads. Hey, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the Manchester United 08 Champions League winning team. If you want to see another team like this, maybe the Chelsea squad, let me know. Let me know an old school team you want to see, and I would love to rebuild them and play with them in FC24. Until then, if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe, turn the bell on, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Manchester United 08 team, Juarez team, unbelievable squad. I'll catch you next time. Booyah.